Okay, so in today's video, I'll be doing a solo queue tier list. A lot of you guys on my solo queue videos be asking me questions following like what is the best operators use while solo queuing? And I think this is probably the better way of me answering that because I feel like I only have a limited amount of time to really answer that question. So why not make a full video realistically? So if this video gets 800 likes, I will like literally like just lick the camera or something. I just appreciate you guys supporting me and I want my videos to do better and better. So it'd mean a lot if you guys did like and comment and share your opinion. Um, just keep in mind that a tier list it varies from person to person. You're going to disagree with what I say and I'm going to disagree with what you say, especially like ranks and all that stuff. It just varies um, from person to person. So don't get your panties in or not. I've done a tier list before and people crapped on it. I think it's my most disliked video and it's also my most viewed video. So just keep that in mind. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so right now we have five different tiers. Usually people do it A, B, C, D, whatever. But I thought it would be more interesting if I can go more in depth with these uh, like tiers. For example, the, t the top pick is always a great pick. This is an operator that you can always use and it's always a solid pick in a solo cube atmosphere. Uh, a solid pick is... You know, there's better operators, but like it's up there with almost being like a great pick. Uh, can be useful. There's better picks. I kind of made this tier. Um, it's kind of like situational, if that makes sense. Like some maps, this very like some operators just uh, thrive more on. Next is underrated picks. This is just underrated operators that people don't use, and especially in a solo queue atmosphere, it can be a very solid pick. Um, the very last one is waste of a pick, almost never usable. There are tons of operators in this game that can most of the time just never be a good pick. But this game is situational and if used properly, every operator is a great pick. But in a solo queue atmosphere, it gets more precise in my opinion. So let's start it out. Let's start out at the bottom. I'm going to pick Zofia and I'm going to put her in always a great pick. Now, the reason why she's always a great pick is she's a jack of all trades. Based upon her weapon loadout, she has amazing weapons. She has a uh, claymore and she has breacher charges, which allows her to play vertical play. And where she shines is her two impacts and two concussions. She's kind of like a jack of all trades. She can do everything. So I just think she's a great operator selection. Next is Zero. I'm going to put him in underrated picks. I feel like a lot of players just don't use Zero enough. I don't see his pick rate being that high. And just think about this. He has two amazing primary weapons and he has six cameras. That's six pieces of intel, which can be very useful in a solo queue atmosphere because you can just throw like random cameras and windows and hopefully your teammates can get on the cams, but they probably won't. But this can just be very helpful, especially if you're not good with your drone economy or your drones do get shot slash mozzie pest slash muted. Great pick. Even in a normal five-man atmosphere, start picking zero if you just don't know who to pick. Ying, I'm going to put her in a waste of a pick slash never, almost never can be usable. Hear me out. Like, I understand that she has smokes and she has the burning capability and she has her candelas. But I feel like in a team atmosphere, Ying is way more usable than in a solo queue atmosphere. You kind of have to execute, like, a push with your teammates to use Ying to her full potential. I'm not saying that she's a bad operator or anything. She can be very annoying when used properly, but I just feel like in a solo queue atmosphere, she's just not very usable to the highest of her capability. Warden, I'm just going to put it waste of a pick slash never. Um, mostly because, like, Warden's not a bad operator. He's actually equipped with great weapons and great utility. Like, he has a C4. He has the ability to deny, like, smokes and stuns just by himself. I just feel like he's a very selfish operator. And in ranked, he's just not played efficiently, in all honesty. Next is Wumai. I'm going to put him in always a great pick. Because I feel like Wumai, just like Jaeger, I'm going to actually pick Jaeger as well. And I'm going to put him always in a great pick. Um... Just because Wumai and Jaeger both deny utility, and that's a good trait for utility for an operator to have, especially on defense, because this game is dependent on, you know, denying time when you're on defense and trying to deny a plant. So when you're denying utility, like grenades, stuns, all that st stuff, you're wasting time. And both these operators do a great job. And the great thing about Jaeger is, especially solo queuing, you can put down your utility and kind of just go roam and do your own thing um, and hold it down and just gun out. So... That's why I think both these operators are always a great pick and they can always be usable. Next, I'm going to put Vigil in always a great pick. I feel like Vigil is the best roamer in the game and hence being like he denies intel. And on the attacker side, the drones are the only type of intel you're going to really get that's actually proper and very precise. And Vigil denies that. Plus, he has a decent loadout. He has a rotate capability. And just in a solo queue atmosphere, he's just perfect because you can kind of do your own thing. You make one impact, get the hatches, and just, just vibe and do your own thing and try to gun out. Valkyrie is 
also gonna go in oh he's a great pick i don't mean to put this many operators in this but valkyrie is probably one of the best defenders just because of what she brings to the table she brings three different cameras she has an okay lotus she has a desert eagle and mpx which a lot of people poo on but it's actually a good weapon match up a c4 and she's just great it's great whether you're alive or dead and it's just helpful for the team all around because you're feeding your other teammates info even if they're not listening even if they're not getting on drones you can still use these cans for your advantage and it has unlimited potential for intel i'm gonna put twitch in can be useful slash there's better picks uh, I feel like a lot of people that use Twitch don't use her drones properly. Most of the time they just get it shot or, you know, just the drone, using her drone in, in theory or just in general, I mean, is very like underwhelming because, you know, I, I don't understand how we're almost six years in and this thing can't jump. It's slow as hell. And it's been, it's seen so many nerfs. She still has an F2 and a decent DMR, but overall, I just think she's very uh, underwhelming. And I feel like there's definitely better operators on the board than Twitch. I'm going to put uh, Thermite and I'm going to put Thermite in solid pick. I want to put him in always a great pick, but I'm trying to think in a solo queue atmosphere how hard it is going to be a Thermite. And I know for me with the last few times I've been solo queuing, most of the time your teammates know to get the stuff off the wall, but I've been in scenarios where my teammates just don't want to get stuff off the wall. They all bring fraggers. They want to bring hard breach. So I just think it's a solid pick. Thermite's a great operator all around, but in solo queue atmosphere, it's going to be a pain in the ass if nobody can get the stuff off the wall because basically you picked a operator for no use at that point. I'm going to put Thatcher in a... I want to. I, I I don't know if I want to put him in solid pick or always a great pick. I'm just gonna put him in solid pick with uh, thermites. This is just one of those things you kind of need to communicate with your teammates with um, how you're using your utility because it no longer just destroys uh, everything in range ever since the EMP change. Um, Thatcher in a team atmosphere is always a great pick because he denies utility, but it's just acting on that information that you deny the utility. It's kind of hard in a solo queue atmosphere because solo queue atmosphere is kind of all over the place. Thatcher as a operator is amazing but in a solo queue atmosphere it's a little bit difficult to act off the information given i'm gonna put chachanka in can be useful there's better picks i don't want to put him in waste of a pick almost never usable or underrated picks because he has denial kind of like smoke that can waste a lot of time so that's that's good like you can waste a lot of time on your own as chachanka so it wouldn't be the worst pick ever but of course there is always better picks he also has the ability to make rotates with his weapon which isn't ideal but you know he's not bad Smoke is going to be in always a great pick just because of what smoke brings to the table, whether you're solo queuing, five manning, whatever. He's always a great pick in any type of scenario. He denies the uh, plants and pushes for 30 seconds. You cannot sit in a smoke uh, area for a very long time. You're going to lose a lot of HP or you're going to die. He brings rotate capability and he has the best secondary in the game, which is SMG 11. Overall, he's like the ideal operator in Siege that you're always going to want to be using. So he's always a great pick, even if you're solo queuing. Next is Sledge. I'm going to put him in always a great pick as well. Once again, I'm not trying to overwhelm these positions. It's just how it's lined up. Uh, Sledge all around is a great operator, once again, because of his weapon loadout. And he has very consistent vertical play. And he has grenades. I would put Buck up there as well with Sledge, but he lost his grenades. Sledge is personally my favorite operator in the game, and if you got this far into the video, let me know down in the comments who is your favorite operator in the game, and let me know why. I personally think Sledge is just all around, like, one of the perfect operators, kind of like Smoke. He has a very simple ability, but when used properly, it's executed amazing. I'm going to put Rook in, you know, can be used, no, I'm just going to put him in a solid pick, because I'm trying to think in a solo queue atmosphere, I'm not a big fan of rook players in general because just rook is just very underwhelming i don't feel like he brings a lot to the table besides you know his armor plates which once again is underwhelming as hell but you know he does bring a very simple uh ability to the game which is his armor plates and he has an acog he's only he's one of the few operators that actually have somewhat of an acog so he can be useful when it comes to you know long angles and such but you can kind of do your own thing when picking rook and, you know, nobody is really going to complain. And he does have impact, so we can make rotates. Recruit, um, sadly, recruits not in the game. <laughs> oh, bless me. I'm going to put Pulse in can be useful slash there's better picks. Because Pulse is one of those operators that you got to be on the scanner or be using the ability at all times to get the information. It's not like when a teammate dies, they can get on your cams. 
Pulse can be a very good operator, but I feel like he sh thrives in more five-man uh, atmospheres because when you're actually using your scanner, you can actually give precise call-outs to where the enemies are, and your teammates can either act on that or have their gun up around that. It's just when you're using Pulse and in a solo queue atmosphere, you are probably limited to, you know, maybe C4ing somebody, maybe getting a frag, maybe not. And then, you know, it's very hard to give solo queue teammates information if they, you know, you don't have chemistry and you can't play off of them. Orcs, um, I'm... I'm gonna put him in a waste of a pick almost never usable like he does have the t5 with the 1.5 and uh he does have his dash and all that but uh, as utility stakes comes down i feel like he's just not like a very helpful operator he's a very fun operator to use but i just don't think that he can be um very like usable and like in higher ranks at least especially in a solo queue you know atmosphere he, he can be fun but a lot of teammates are going to think that you're a little selfish because there's not much utility that you're bringing to the team and you're not really an anchor so nomad is is probably always a great pick as well she's a flank denial so even if your teammates aren't coordinating with you or you know you're somehow just not talking to them you can at least get the gist of what you need to do for example you can nomad off flanks for the hard breachers or for example on border it's very common you nomad off break room uh ac unit and then last one's really up to you so it, it's very straightforward operator but she's always helpful and always usable especially as you climb up into higher elo when people start being like rank stars Definitely, definitely a good, uh, good operator to use, and you should always be using a Nomad if she's on the board. Um, surprisingly, I'm gonna put Nook in can be usable slash. There's better picks. Um, I'm thinking in the aspect since you are solo queuing, you can kind of make a hail mary play, and nobody really expects a Nook. Like, if you throw a, the enemy team off with a Nook play, you can get some serious damage done. She has grenades. Um, she has just the sneaky ability. So I think that she can be useful, but there definitely is better picks. Mew, always a great pick. He denies drones. I don't need to really explain this. Like, he's a very straightforward operator, but he's always a great pick. He has great weapons. He has great utility. And, you know, he just denies drones. Especially with Thatcher always being banned, Mew is definitely always a viable pick. Mozzie, always a great pick. Just because of the fact, once again, he denies drones. Amazing weapons. Amazing loadouts. And then he has the intel capability once he grabs a drone. That is very underrated. A lot of people... Um, don't really use Mozzie's drones to their full advantage. A lot of times they either just uh, grab it and then throw it in a corner and never use it, or they just waste it in general. So Mozzie can be very helpful, especially just as acting as intel. I don't see a lot of people really droning out with Mozzie drones, but I feel like that's more of a five-man type of thing. So Montang, I'm going to put him in waste of a pick, almost never usable. Same with Blitz. Uh, just for the f sh sheer factor of one blitz, I think it's just a stupid operator. Uh, I think it's a very useful, useless pick. It's not like it's like year two back when he got buffed and he can run and, you know, ADS quick and all that. He's very, uh, th like you're almost putting your team team at like a, a crutch. Like Montang, the thing about Montang is he's actually a very strong operator. It's just in a solo queue atmosphere, you're bringing Montang. What are you supposed to do when your teammates don't want to push with you or know how to play off a of Montang? It's very hit or miss with Montang. It's like rolling the dice and hoping that you get a good pick, but I don't see Montang as being a great pick in that scenario. Mira, I'm going to put her in solo pick. I want to put her in always a great pick, but a lot of people don't know how to play around mirrors or they just put mirrors in stupid spots or, you know, your teammates just end up uh, not playing around the mirrors in, in the proper fashion. For example, uh, tomorrow's video I actually was playing in a silver lobby on a silver account for like a tips and tricks video and like uh, the kids like were infatuated with mirror but they would never play around the mirror they would scream at me tell me to go mirror and I would go mirror and they just wouldn't play on the mirrors or off the mirrors it was very weird Malusi always a great pick just because of the fact that you know her weapon loadouts decent but her where she shines is that she has c4 and she has three banshees which denied the enemy team of uh moving quickly and it strikes fear in enemies you know, present. So if you know how to play simple Banshees, you know, it's very easy to be effective with Malusi. That's the thing about her. She's just kind of one of those operators that's like a passive ability. So overall, Malusi's a great pick and I would be using her even in a five-man atmosphere. Maverick is also going to always a great pick just for the sheer fact that he's a operator who doesn't need anybody else to help him if that makes sense he's a hard breacher that has grenades and he's a three speed with decent ars the th the whole point of maverick is opening up walls and not needing anybody help he has the ability of putting lines of sight in walls and opening up walls without like a uh, ash or zofia it's very helpful but he can open an entire wall and just shoot the wood or burn the wood and it opens up so he's definitely a very useful operator especially if you know how to use him properly 
Next, I'm gonna put Lion, and I'm gonna put he's almost never usable. He's kind of a waste of a pick. I just think a uh, operator like Lion. If you're gonna bring out the cheesy picks, you need some type of coordination because then when you get on defense, the enemy team is just all of a sudden gonna bring in these operators and you're gonna be set at a crutch because you're not gonna know what to do. But I feel like lion scans in general, like if used selfishly, it's not used properly. Even though it is like a crutch type of operator, you just need to uh, actually you know, coordinate with your team when you're throwing up a lion scan and when to execute. Legion, I'm going to put in always a great pick just because once again, he's kind of like a passive ability. You can throw down goo mines and it works for you whether you're dead or alive. It would be better if you were alive though because the more that you stay alive, the longer you have more goo mines. He also has a T5 and he has impact grenades. All around, he's just a very easy, simple operator, but he's very effective. That's If you look at anybody that's on always a great pick, they're very simple operators, but when used properly, they execute beautifully. Maestro, I'm going to put, I want to put him in always a great pick because Maestro is very effective because he, his bubbles are like destructible besides if you use Ash or uh, Zofia or whatever. But I feel like a lot of times in solo queue, you're putting scenarios where you have to kind of clutch um, because your teammates kind of do their own thing. That's what I've noticed. So, so far, I'm just going to put him in solid picks uh, just because of the sheer fact that, you know, your teammates, it's like rolling the dice once again. You don't know who you're going to get. But overall, Operator, like, Maestro is amazing. So, just because you see him on this tier list doesn't mean this is where he actually should stand. I think Maestro is definitely, like, a top 5 defender. And that you should always be using him because he's so effective. Capcan, I'm going to put him in underrated picks. I think Capcan is one of the most underrated operators in the game. Based on the sheer fact that people don't expect this type of utility. A lot of times people just, you know, run through doors. And it's kind of like we're in this frag meta where people just want to run and gun especially when you get into like higher ranks like i said it gets uh, a lot more difficult and people in the higher ranks low key they don't expect a cap can so i think he's a great pick cali i'm gonna put her in can be useful slash there's better picks just for the sheer fact that you know a lot of the times it's gonna be a pain in the ass to actually gun out with a sniper rifle especially in siege and her secondary is a little bit inconsistent when it comes to um understanding how to how to like control the recoil uh, she can definitely be useful kind of like twitch like I said it just depends on like what map So I'm just gonna put her in can be useful, but sometimes there's better picks I'm gonna put Cade in always a great pick just for you know once again because Thatcher is always banned and Cade can always be a pain in the ass to deal with especially if you use his Cades on hatches so I think Cade is definitely always a great pick because there's always a map where you know, there's hatches and, you know, if you're down in like a basement, like clubhouse, you're going to want to bring Cade just to waste time. And most of the time, players can't get the Cades off because they don't know how to counter the Cade. I'm going to put Jackal in a solid pick. Um, he's definitely like a great operator just for the sheer fact that if you know how to use him uh, properly, you can definitely clear roamers out very easily or at least get the intel for your teammates. It's just free intel more than likely. Same with IQ. I'm going to say she's a solid pick just because of the use of Valkyrie great operator uh she's equipped with like three amazing ars she has a g8 she has an aug and she has a commando all great ars slash lmgs and she has um the ability to see any type of utility on the map so that is great uh, especially since thatcher's banned most of the time you're gonna if you're using her iq gadget as a actual gadget instead of just picking her because she has a g8 she can be a very solid pick ayana she's an underrated pick Overall, Ayana is just good. She has amazing ARs, she has a decent pistol, and she has grenades. But she also has an extra drone, and that's always good. It's kind of like the zero thing that, um, you know, he has extra drones that can feed intel. The only issue is either you're going to have to solo push and try to act off the information, or you can get lucky and kind of just push in with your teammates when you notice they're about to uh, run in. It takes a lot of situational awareness to actually use this operator, but it's uh, it's an underrated pick in my opinion. Abana is always a great pick in my opinion, just for the... Just because of what they did to her Habana pellets. She has so much capability now. For example, she has, I believe, 16 or 14. I believe it's 16 uh, pellets. And you can change how many you're using. For example, people can't impact trick as effectively as they once were able to. You can get multiple walls. You can get multiple hatches. And it only takes four pellets to get through the, the hatch or whatever breach that you open. Gridlock is definitely an underrated pick just because of... You know what she brings to the table it's it's not even like flank denial it's just denial of whatever area you're using the utility in i don't see a uh, gridlock as a immediate flank denial because a lot of times it can be very 
inconsistent uh people can knife it if you're far away from that area it's not like nomad you don't hear it go off and if somebody hits the gridlock you don't get a notification i feel like she's better in post plant scenarios if you fill a room or if you try to execute in a room and you throw them it can definitely be a pain in the ass to face a gridlock and face her trap strings Goyo, I'm going to put a, put them in can be useful slash there's better picks. And that's for the prime example that you're solo queuing. A lot of players in solo queue, they are not going to put their utility in proper places. For example, when you're using Goyo, you're going to need some type of uh, like ADSs, Wamais, and you need them in precise areas to play off of your Goyo shields so you can burn utility. I don't see that being very effective in solo queue atmosphere just because your teammates aren't going to do that or they're going to have an attitude. But Goyo in a 5-man is probably one of the best operators. He is definitely S tier. But in a solo queue atmosphere, he's probably not, in my opinion. Glaz is going to be in waste of a pick. <sighs> I don't need to explain this. It's Glaz. Uh, cool, he has grenades, but he's not once he... What, He's not what, what he once was back in year 2 slash 3 when he had um, a fast rate of fire and he was just overall just effective because of the thermal. I would not pick Glass. Fuse is going to be an underrated picks, just that for the fact that in general Fuse is just underrated. Even though he has a three armor, one speed, he has four Fuse charges, which allows him to clear any type of utility. This is great for Maestro cams, Malusis, like literally any map you can use Fuse and he can be effective. He also is equipped with a great loadout. The only issue is he is a chunky boy. Frost is going to go in underrated picks as well, just for the fact that she does have shields. She has a shotgun to make rotates. She has a 1.5 on her SMG. It does shoot a little slow, but she does have a 1.5. And then you do have the Frost mats, which is kind of like Cap Can in my opinion. Nobody really expects Frost mats. And if you put them in random positions, it can definitely be effective. Finca is a waste of a pick on PC. The reason why I'm making that statement is because on PC, recoil control is a lot different than console. On console, she would definitely be up there as a decent pick just because she has grenades, she has the ability to give you no recoil, and she has an LMG and a decent AR and a good pistol. But when you bring her on PC and you randomly throw a Finca charge, if your teammates are engaging in gunfights, they're going to go from pulling down normal to aiming at the floor because of the Finca. It's a lot more difficult on PC, so... Ella, I'm going to put her in, um, maybe, I, I want to put her in can be useful, there's better operators to pick, because Ella, Ella's a very fun operator, I, she's one of my favorites to play on defense, there's, I gotta pick and choose when to use her, she does have a shield, she also has three Ella mines, which, uh, disables people from, like, moving, it's just her SMG can be very inconsistent, and I just think in a solo queue atmosphere, there's definitely better picks, there's gonna be operators that aren't picked, and you're gonna need to bring them, because your teammates are very lazy. Echo, uh, I want to put Echo and can be useful as well. I think Echo is still very useful. It's just his Echo drone is very easy to spot. And especially if they have an IQ, you're going to be screwed or a Thatcher or whatever. Echo's just been nerfed. But if used properly, he can be very useful. I'd just rather bring something like a Maestro, to be honest. Next is Dokubi. I'm going to put him in put her in underrated pick just for the fact that she can get access to cams she can feed your teammates info no matter where they are on the map just based on the phone ringing it's just the biggest issue of dokubi what i see of a lot of players is dmr for me i cannot use a dmr because my trigger finger is almost like a grandma's arthritis and i cannot click enough but if you can get past that she can be very useful and very fun next is doc and i'm just gonna say he's a solid pick um because you don't really need to do much with Doc. He has barbed wire, you put down barbed wire, you reinforce, and if your teammates need health, you just dock them up. And just that can change around, taking a teammate from 1 HP to 100, or if they're downed, you can, you know, stun them up. So I would definitely uh, think he's a solid pick. Clash, I would put her in the waste of a pick just because of what I said about Montang and Blitz, but I'm going to put her in uh, can be useful. Now listen, the reason why I'm doing that is because she's able to shock people. That's it. When you bring a shield on defense like Clash that's able to d disturb enemies and make them like stand still and move th make them very move slow and lose HP, you're more likely to have teammates to play off of you or just be in that general direction, especially because most of the time in solo queue, if teammates hear noise, they're going to run at it. So if you're able to give your teammates an advantage, Clash can definitely be useful. Cavi, I'm going to put her in waste of a pick. A lot of the times, and I'm speaking from my elo, like even on my solo queue account, I'm almost in plat 2 or I think I am in plat 2. Main, I'm a, I'm a champ. 
a lot of times what happens in this elo is cavi when you get somebody down you're not going to be able to interrogate i think that's the whole point of cavi and you know most of the time you don't get to execute on her ability castle i'm going to put him in a waste of a pick almost never usable now castle in a five man or even a three man or something um is very usable yeah, but i think fucker. that a lot of people just don't know how to play off of a castle and a lot of people have very weird castle strats all around castle is a good operator he has a 1.5 he has a shotgun for rotates he has uh i believe a bp he can be very useful it's just in a solo queue atmosphere he's probably one of the last operators you're really going to want to use especially if you have own unique castle strats capital is going to be in underrated picks just i don't see capital used enough he's one of the best operators in my opinion he has two fire bolts two smoke uh like bolts and he has a claymore and a, and a hard breaching device with an lmg and an ar both are pretty balanced and they're relatively literally the same in damage and uh rate of fire the thing about capital is he cannot be denied by jaeger which is very good wamai is a counter to him of course but the thing about wamai is Wherever the disc is, it's going to grab it and it's going to push off the Capital bolts. So there will be fire going in that general area. Capital is very useful and I would definitely use him more. Buck, I'm going to put him on a solid pick just because what I said about the sledge thing. If he did have grenades, once again, I'd put him in always great pick. I just found myself with the skeleton key being very inconsistent and it just not working to its full potential. Next is Blackbeard. Um... I don't know, man. The thing about Blackbeard is, like, I, I think he's a stupid operator, but I, I, I'm i going to say he can be useful because he has a shield on his face. And if you're fragging out and you want to be cheesy or if the enemy team's using him, pull him out, he can be useful because he has a, literally a shield on his face and an AR. I'm going to put Bandit in a solid pick just because Bandit is just a good operator. Like, he's usually always a great pick, but in some scenarios, you're not being protected in a solo queue atmosphere to Bandit trick. So, it's going to be a pain in the ass to really try to Bandit trick and, you know, have your teammates protect you. Ash, I'm going to put her in always a great pick just because of what I said about Zofia. She's just very versatile. She has a great weapon. She's fast as hell. She has breaching charges and claymores, and she has three ash charges. All around, she's just a great operator, and she's a great denial of utility. Aruni is a very solid pick as well. She's one of those operators that really have a passive ability. Um, you can just throw it down, and your teammates can, you know, reactivate it if they need to. But it's really denying utility and burning time for the attackers. So I think she's a good operator, and all around, she is also fun to play she has a mike tyson punch um amaru i'm gonna put her in waste of a pick almost never usable just because of the utility stance uh you can you know she has great weapons she has a great load of smg 11 and uh and the g8 with an acog but the issue with her is a lot of the times you're not gonna be able to really use her ability to her full potential for example her ability is her grapple if you're not rushing or you know you're not getting your frags and then relocating you're not really being useful and you're not really useful a team if you're not getting kills you can die and just not affect the round and be a waste of a pick so ace i'm gonna put him in always a great pick now the reason why i'm putting him over a thermite all the things i said about thermite are very true and really any hard breacher the issue is is your teammates gonna get the stuff off the really easy appealing thing i see about ace is his weapon lodo he has the best ar in the game which is the ak and he has three of his throwable like ace charges he's just a very simple operator and i feel like a lot of players are just going to understand um how to use him thermite it takes a little bit more um time thermite you're more at a disadvantage because you need to place the thermite charge on the wall and you know you can't get ran out on and it, it can suck ace can also be useful to mass sound say your teammates already got the wall or they're not able to and you need to frag out you can frag out with this operator just based upon the fact that you're using his ace charges to mass sound you can throw it at walls ceilings whatever and it makes a lot of noise compared to thermite chargers you're not really going to place a thermite down uh, with 20 seconds left and then like like make it go off and run ace you can do that Albi, um i'm gonna put her in useful uh it can be useful if there's better operator selection though uh because alibi i used to be very not fond of alibi but you know looking at her loda she has the ability to make rotate she i believe she has a shield and she has a great primary weapon and she has three clones which can be a pain in the ass to deal with because you know people shoot it that gives you intel and intel is everything on defense and attacking siege is an intel base game all around this was my uh solo q tier list if you disagree that's totally okay 
just don't like go in the comments and start molding because I, I put your favorite operator if you disagree that's totally okay this game is subjective and it's opinion based most of the time especially when you go from rank to rank you're gonna disagree on some stuff and i'm gonna agree on some stuff but if you enjoyed the video make sure that you like sub and comments it would be much appreciated and let me know what you thought of this list um besides that this is garfield's dog i appreciate you guys for watching the video uh one love